In 1871, a fleet of 33 whaling ships were lost off the north coast of Alaska in what would be termed one of the greatest disasters in the history of American whaling. When those ships sailed up in 1871, they were warned by the local Inupiat people that this was going to be a bad weather year. They didn't listen. And when the wind shifted and the ice came in, 33 ships were trapped. NOAA's Office of National Marine Sanctuary's Maritime Heritage Program is working in the Arctic off the coast of North Alaska to try to locate the remains of shipwrecks lost in one of the epic disasters in the history of American whaling. Finding these ships not only talks about those times, it reminds us of how we as Americans not only created an industry, but how we adapt to changes in industry, how we adapt to changes over time. Any mission like this requires a fair amount of preparation. It also requires a great deal of hard work. This mission was one that saw people with different skills coming together, from archaeologists and surveyors to the boat crew themselves. And the payoff was the discovery of at least two of these ships sitting on the bottom, broken, chewed by the ice, but still there and identifiable. When you look at books like Moby Dick, when you think of how whaling figured big in the American consciousness to know that now only one of these whaling ships survives. One out of all those hundreds and yet on the bottom are these broken remains of these other whaling ships which are a reminder that sanctuaries as well as the rest of the oceans can be a big museum at the bottom of the sea.